August 1st, July 11th was the last time I was working on this thing, pulling hairs. Actually sending the heads off. On the 10th I pulled it apart the last little bit. Sent them off on the 11th. Um, so there were 20 days getting the heads back. Um, they end up, valve guides were had a little bit of wear, not super bad, but enough to where they figured you know, you could run them, but better to change them. So we did valve guides and we did uh, all that kind of stuff. So we're here ready to clean up the surface. Gonna start the dowels, get them out of there, and then uh, just clean the surface. Make sure it's all nice and flat. Maybe throw a straight edge on it, see how that all goes. Clean everything up nice, blow it out, wash it up, whatever we need. Uh, still haven't turned the engine over, so I'm gonna turn the engine over, look at all of the cylinders for any lines, because pistons are up at the top like, uh, it's too dark. Up at the top like this, you can't really see much, so turn that one down, turn this one down, and that way uh, I can look at the, the bore. Should have done that probably before I wasted money on heads and might have needed a whole engine, but everything else looked good, so it's not very likely. But do the same on this side. Then, uh, yeah, get ready to put some gaskets on and throw some heads back on. And uh, start tinkering her back together. Got, uh, I got gaskets and head studs and the manifolds are back. Nice, or the ta tapper covers are back. Nice shiny Chevy orange. So, uh, it should look nice under the hood. Um, then I'm thinking that I've changed my mind about the fueling system instead of bringing it up over on the driver's side. And then bringing it across from the driver's side over here to the front. I think I'm just going to bring it over here and I'm going to mount my fast over here. Somewhere. Possibly in the frame there or in the center. Could go right in the center because that drive shaft's never going to come up that high. But there's actually a spot that I can mount it right here in front of the fuel tank as well. On that bracket. It would be below the cab, which might be a little bit of a disadvantage, but I'm not sure. But then I'm going to run. And I've almost convinced myself to put a sump in there and just run the sump lines up against the box and across. And to, or along to the, to the fast, wherever I decide to mount it. And then I'm going to bend some tubing. And run tubing along this frame rail. And just go up here to the front and come up right here where these uh, wires are right in front of the engine mounts and all that stuff come off the frame and come up right here to the side of the engine so once I get the heads on and that alternator and stuff back on I'll know exactly where to go and I'll probably put it right back into the stock all the brackets and stuff that were here for the going to the fuel filter I'll just reuse that same stuff and it'll stay, kind of stays out of the way instead of having them come across the head on the other side and blocking everything there. So we'll see how that goes, but that's what I'm thinking right now. Throw all those old fuel lines to just go in the garbage or they might as well even stay there if nothing else, but I don't ever expect to use them again. So not likely that I'll ever sell this truck, but if I did, then the fast and everything would just go with it. So all that stuff would stay rigged up like that, but probably just end up gooing the ends full of silicone or something so they don't get full of dirt something like that to cover it up and close it but yeah that's what I'm thinking now anyway so that'll be the next project and get the heads back on and then we'll start on that kind of stuff once we get kind of the engine put back together so we know where to run some lines and like I said some half inch stainless tubing there's lots of room along the frame here I can run it in and bring it on up so that's the plan. Six hours later. Not quite, but like five hours maybe. Got this thing cleaned up. Decks, well, a little bit of black stuff left there, but there's no more chunks. The gasket's all gone. Surface is nice and smooth. Both sides, the other side I got covered up so I don't blow garbage in there when I'm blowing the junk off of this side. And just blow around all the edges of the pistons to make sure there's nothing sitting against the liner there. Uh, rolled the other side over and inspected all the the uh, bores. All looks good, so give this here a final wipe down. And then I got the heads in the cab sitting there, so I'm going to go get those out of the box. Head gaskets, studs, all that kind of thing, and start putting together. Maybe. Get this wiped down and waiting for the air, comp air compressor to charge up a little more. But get this side wiped down and find us a head gasket and some studs.
Oh, and some new dowels, dowel pins. Go from there, start buttoning her back together. Well, that last video was made on August 1st, and it is now August 15th. So, had a bit of a debacle. Uh, there's my ARP head studs. I ordered all this stuff from HSP, ordered up pipe, down pipes, all that stuff, all ceramic coated and whatnot, and I ordered the uh, head gaskets and head studs from them. They made a mistake in there somewhere and sent me a box of head bolts instead of head studs, just OEM bolts. So I covered this all up and uh, been dealing with them for a while. It took, well, of course it was a long weekend and whatnot, and then I went back to work, so kind of made it take a little longer than it had to, but they're actually pretty good to deal with. Uh, they refunded me all of the money. I just run into town and uh, picked up the uh, head studs from a local guy quite a bit more expensive here than over there and they refunded me the entire amount for the head studs that I picked up which is that box right there so they uh, scanned them and sent them the receipt and they uh, sent me the entire amount back so it is now the 15th I'm off work now for three weeks so I should hopefully have enough time to get this thing sort of looking like an engine Got the big helper here playing skip rope with the parts washer. Right, big helper? Good job. And we're going to start uh, clean this back up. I did oil everything. I, I wiped oil on it. It should be still nice and clean underneath there. Um, I guess the top rag, a little bit of surface rust there. So I'll wipe this all down again. And then uh, put some studs in there now that I actually have studs. But... Uh, yeah, so HSP, pretty good guys to deal with. They uh, definitely did the right thing in the end. Took a little bit of convincing. They wanted to just send me a new set, but when I ordered the parts the first time, I wasn't in a hurry, and it took just just shy of a month, I believe, to get here. So I didn't want to wait another month to get the head studs from them. So I, uh, yeah, they, they were... Took a little convincing, but they did finally agree to just refund me the full, the full price of buying them locally, so... That was all good, so I uh, had hoped to get at it, you know, in the evenings after work, but that didn't work, so now I'm up to this. I'm gonna get at her and... Oh, mm, made one video with it all covered in saran wrap, so here's one without. Be able to see it a little better. Uh, this is the passenger side head. You can see exhaust manifold ports there. Um, water jacket ports here, if it'll focus. In the darkness so water jacket goes here oh, yeah. uh, it's got some mounting hardware here for some other things but when i look at the thing it is the exact same on this side so if you did need a head for one of these things you just knock out these freeze plugs and put them in on the other side and this head could be universal go to either side um little shout out to engine tech machining i think they did a great job on these things they look really good uh, they're nice and clean um Packaged styrofoam on top to keep it safe once they get them in there. Uh, styrofoam in the bottom in the cardboard box all wrapped up nice and then a piece of cardboard underneath. So a shout out to them for that and uh, all the firings in there. So hopefully no more head blown out, head gaskets blown out in this thing ever ever. But nice flat surface clean nice to see those firings in there that's a pretty good chunk of change but a little bit of uh, confidence builder on my on my part I guess yeah, if the original gasket blew out the first time then the second one can blow out just the same just because you put head studs in it's just a little more torque it's not really holding it any better so, so yeah that's what it looks like get a real up close View, see if it'll focus properly if I can hold it still enough. So, yeah, they've just cut a groove in there. Let's look around. Is there a spot where it's connected? I don't think so. Oh, yeah, right there. Right there. Can you focus little camera? So, you can see that firing is connected right there. So, they bend that piece of wire around that groove that they've cut. Press that ring in there. Each of them has the groove facing the same direction, so they must have some sort of a reason for that, probably because it's right beside a stud. 
but they're all facing oh no there's one that's not there's this one connected it's the last one i don't see it yet oh right there it is facing the same so this one's here on uh number second one from the front and the other one's right there but they did such a good job with that one that uh even with my naked eye, I could hardly see it. But it is connected right there. You can just barely tell.